I am here with Dawn from, well, I would want to say with something, but uh, what, where are you? <laughs> we'll start there. Where are you? I am in beautiful Lehigh, Utah. If I, you can see the mirror, maybe the okay. mountains in the background. Right. Yeah. Well, anybody listening is not going to be able to see it, but I'll have to tell you that it was just beautiful. What she she just swiveled her <laughs> laptop over to her window, and I saw the the, the beautiful mountains there. And and so I, I forget they can't. Not everybody can see. <laughs> eventually, you know, I, I'm going to start uh, doing. Uh, once you get moved, then we can start doing a, a video record of this, and that way people can can watch it later after they hear it or something and okay. and, and whatnot. But I thought for maybe this first one, we would just go ahead and, and record audio. But what we could do for this very first installment of Don's Corner is find out uh, what's going on with you and what's been going on with you since the, the demise of, of, uh, of, of KVRK and uh, the sale and whatnot. You've, you actually left uh, the station almost a year not quite a year mm. before the before the sale happened so fill everybody in and what's been going on with you all this time so you may remember if you were listening to us on um, KBRK and Power FM's morning show that I um, had finished my degree finally after <clears throat> decades of trying and um, and went into the software business so it's a very different world than radio I'll say that um, and I had initially got on with a hired on with a company that did like marketing type software and about a month after I hired on um, the company was acquired by a large um, corporation out of Lehigh, Utah, which is about 30 minutes south of Salt Lake City. And so, um, of course, all the worst case scenarios come to your head. And we all assumed we weren't going to have a job much longer and that type of thing. But I was one of the lucky few that they asked to actually stay on with the company. And but the only way that I was able to do that was to relocate to to Lehigh. And so I did. I'm in a position where um, my children are grown. I'm an empty nester. And so Tim and I took this opportunity to kind of because I really did like the company and I wanted to stay with them. So um, I took the opportunity to go ahead and move out here with these strategic um, type of plan that I would hopefully get into a position quickly where I could actually work remote. And so that's happened. I've been here for about a year this month, as a matter of fact, all by myself. Um, my husband would works for the airline, so he'd come out and visit. And my kids all love to come and visit me so they could go to the mountains. And Chris and Val came out and visited that's me. Right. And we were there not too long ago. Right. And so, um, but I'm just about to be able to move back home to Texas here. In fact, this is my last week in the in the office. Oh, so it's very, very soon. Yes. Yeah. So and, that's a little nutshell. And I know it's, I, I know that Tim's excited because obviously, I don't know exactly if the long-term goal might have been where he would have uh, uh been based out of out of Salt Lake. For, uh, he works for an airline and, and that might have been a scenario that would have been possible. But uh, obviously, you know, seniority and all that stuff it comes into yeah. play for, for an organization as large as, as an airline and whatnot so i don't know if he if if, if, if was that ever explored or was like you just mentioned that you were sneaky you're going to sneaky be very sneaky <laughs> and say you know what you, I, you really like me now don't you and and, 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 and now uh, i want to go home <laughs> yes. i can do no, this from it, anywhere you know i can do this from from you know a little office at my house please let me right know yeah, and that's that's basically what happened. Yes, the answer is we did explore that because it really is a beautiful area. Um, I like I like living here in in general. You know, I mean, I love the company. I love the people I work with. Um, and Tim did. There, he works for American, and so they uh, American, and so he wasn't <laughs> able to. Um, <laughs> Um, they only have like one gate here in Salt Lake City. Yeah. Delta is the big mm -hmm. carrier here. Okay. So there really wasn't a lot, a lot of opportunity. And so we didn't really explore that a lot because the reality was is that he could have – if he left DFW Airport, he would have had to wait um, 
for a spot to open back up at DFW. And so he, he literally could have been stuck here for years. Okay. Whereas yeah. I was in a position where I could move back home and right. then he would have been stuck here. So this was just way easier to handle everything. So, And you um, got to know so that, yeah, I guess, to really get, to, it's almost like going to school for your company, right? You, they really wanted oh, yeah. you to get plugged in that even in a, in a satellite office, if you were still in Dallas, you might not have been able to, to have gotten the education or whatever you did, whatever you got to do there for that year. So it was a, it was something that was a, a very positive yeah. thing for you to, for the long term. Every once in a while, I sit back and I think, this is so surreal because working at the radio station for as long as I did, whenever it came to anything technical, my answer was, I'm the talent. <laughs> Don't ask yeah. me to do nothing, you know, and nobody did. So, so to actually be working in this industry now, and I'm just about to get certified in this software, um, which is kind of a big deal. Um, and to me, I'm just, it, it's, it's thrilling. It's, it's just very surreal because I never thought I would be that, you know, type of technical person, but right. turns out you can teach an old dog new tricks. That's so, cool. But yeah. you missed what we got to do. So this is kind of yes. what we're going to be doing on a, a kind of a, hopefully a weekly basis. So, so you and I will get to, to see each other because we're right now uh, we're Skyping one another on, on the video. And eventually I'll start uh, capturing the video for it and, and, and posting it. But we'll be able to once a week find out what's on your mind. Yeah. Yeah. And as you may remember, that can be a very you know, a random selection of, of items right there. <laughs> well, let me ask you real quick, what will work best for you? Would, would it be like, you know, it's it's Wednesday at, at a certain time and that we'll do this and record this for a playback on every Friday would be Don's Corner or are we just going to have to wing it and, and stress about it every week? <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, we're going to the movies. Oh, we, we're supposed to record our bit. You're not paying me. <laughs> yeah, at least right. when we were paying you, you showed up every morning. Strike. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a good question. I mean, I, um, I assume that we'll probably take a time that that works for both of us, yeah. and we'll try to stick with that. Okay, because I'll be very flexible, to be honest, because I my schedule here, living on, in the Shire, you know, there's a few yeah. hobbits and cows and, and whatnot, and, and you know, the, the <laughs> hobbits sa- and cows. Sauron's been okay. de- been been de- destroyed and eliminated, so there's not not that to have to deal with up here so uh, but uh, you know yeah. if you you know got a got a got an evening or even during the daytime if that's even better for you if to, uh, we can work that out and this will be on a regular basis i was thinking that maybe we could play it on fridays and uh we'll just figure out you know you'll kind of peruse the the world and and perhaps rant about something or perhaps just just you know what we <laughs> used to do you used to, used to find things to talk about and somehow we would fill up 5 minutes before we got to the traffic the only thing i don't know what to do is how we're going to end this so yeah but, we've talked about this what well, what was that great thing that my husband came up with i have a good one i don't <laughs> oh have a good one <laughs> <laughs> that kind of leaves me out. I know I'm it is because it, it's yeah, it's more on me. So I just would say I'll, I'll talk to you later, or let's record <laughs> another one next week. Same bat Austin time, Livingston same bat baby. channel for for Adam West. And may he rest in peace. That's that's for him. Aww. But, but, uh, but uh, that's well. That's this is what's to you, the listener. I hope uh, that if you listen to to both of us for all those years on KVRK in Dallas, that you'll enjoy this as a regular installment, and we'll just see how long we can get this to, to get the last. Because I, uh, Don told me when we went to visit that she she misses it, and this way it won't have to be like coming up with so a bunch of things every morning. All you got to come up with and probably we'll have more material than than what we'll have to whittle it down to what are we going to record uh, right because i see different people now every day than mm-hmm. i did back yeah. then all i did was see you every day so <laughs> <I'm> so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> but but it's a very small be, circle of friends back then. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I'm really going to look forward to this and and uh, and so this was our very first installment and i guess we'll we'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> Ha <laughs>